I'm Eric the Car Guy, and I am here working on this 1997 Accord SE uh, with captive rotors, and I'm replacing the rotors. So there was something in the original rotor video that I didn't show because I couldn't show, and that was because that car had come in with a broken lower ball joint. So I took the whole knuckle off of the car. But I wanted to make this video to show that it's possible to do this exact same task, but leave the uh, knuckle and everything still bolted to the uh, upper control arm and the tie rod and just flip it around like I have it here. Um, so you don't necessarily have to go through all that that I showed you last time. So I'm not going to show you the complete replacement of the rotor in this video. I just want to show you that it's possible to do this while it's still on the car. So you don't have to take the whole knuckle and everything off over to the bench. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. Okay, now that you can see that I've got the caliper supported here with a bungee cord, so it's, it's not hanging by its brake hose. You don't want to do that. Um, but what I've done is I've just taken the whole knuckle assembly and everything and turned it around because, like I said last time, lower ball joint was broken, so I was going to have to replace that, and I just took the whole knuckle and everything off. You don't have to do that. You can actually do it all on the car. Now, sometimes, or actually, some people have suggested, based on my other video, that you could just remove the axle nut, put a slide hammer or equivalent assembly on here, and just slide hammer this whole assembly right out, this whole hub assembly, right out of the bearing. I don't like that, and I'll tell you why. The reason I don't like that is because what you're doing at that point is you're separating the bearing. So the inner race will stay with the hub, and you leave the inner part of the bearing exposed. Um, if it doesn't come apart when you first take it apart, you put it back together, and it's probably not going to be, well, I don't know. It's hit or miss on whether or not that bearing is going to go bad. So yes, it does save you some time, but the fact that you break this bearing open means that there's a chance for failure of the bearing. So you'd be back here doing this again anyway. So yes, what I'm showing you is more effort than that. However, it's better. Why is it better? Because you're, you're doing it the right way. You need, to, you need to remove the bearing assembly from the knuckle. If you don't do that, then you run the risk of killing the bearing, which means you're going to have to go ahead and do this anyway, so you'd be doing your work twice. So just like in the last video, you take those out. And these bolts, I believe, and the bolts that I'm going to use, are, they look like 10... 10 millimeter bolts to me, so I'm going to say that they're probably 10 by 125. But before I insert the bolts, just like in the last video, I'm going to hit around the outside to try to knock the bearing loose from the ins from the inside of the uh, the knuckle here. Remember, hit what it goes through. Now that I've done that, I'm going to install my bolts. The straightest ones I've got. <laughs> there aren't many that are. Really just need two. I like to tighten these down. Cause they more of the impact goes into the bearing when you do. If you don't have an air hammer, this will work just fine in your wrist. So you just keep Don't hit the bearing, okay? And help assembly, don't, don't hit that. So the wonders of modern technology, I have an air hammer with a pointy end on it. Pointy, 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 point. And I just work back and forth.
Right. Well, everything else works the same. Take off the four fasteners on the uh, hub here, pop the rotor off, clean everything up, put it back together. Uh, you should watch the other video I did on replacing these rotors for all the specific information because there is more specific information. So if you're just watching this video, you're not getting the whole picture. So you really should watch that other video. But in that other video, like I keep saying, that knuckle was off the car. You don't have to take the knuckle off the car to do this. You can just do it like I showed here. You don't need an air hammer. You can use a regular hammer. You might be there a while. So be prepared for that. I get asked this a lot. I believe these are 10 by 125. So, and these are grade eight, I believe. Well, that, that about wraps this one up. I just, uh, like I said, this is only an amendment. Watch the other video for the complete rotor replacement for this, but this just shows you an alternative way of getting the uh, hub and bearing assembly out of the knuckle. I am Eric the Car Guy. You can always find me at ericthecarguy.com or follow me on Facebook and Twitter, whatever you prefer. In addition to that, we do podcasts on Sunday it was with uh, Rich Baxter at cartrucktalk.com, so you might want to check those out. I'm Eric the Car Guy. <clears throat> I've already said that, but I'm going to close by saying be safe, have fun, and of course, as always, stay dirty, people, because that's how you have fun, by being dirty. And those of you out there that know me know exactly what I'm talking about. So, go get dirty. Have some fun. See ya.